Well, here we have the bow stave with one grain exposed during throughout the entire length. And before I show you something here, I wanted to draw attention to the lack of knots in this piece of boat art. It is kind of curvy, which is fine, but there's no knots in this piece, and that's highly unusual for boat art. Usually you're going to have knots all over this thing, but there's not a single knot on this. And the grains are really nice and fat. Big, thick grains. So combination of no knots and thick grains is really rare for boat art. Nice grains. So I wanted to show you guys how I, the next step I would take to remove this grain for the final back of the bow. And what I do is I usually start somewhere in the middle, doesn't have to be exactly in the middle, but somewhere in the middle I'll start judiciously, very carefully, with little chops because I don't want to get these X, these cut marks on the final grain, so I'm searching for the grain here. And I'm just, as you notice, I'm cho choking up on the handle of the X, see? Gives you more control and more finesse as you're looking for that hunting for that grain because you do not want to cut into it too deep or it will scar the back of your bow and it's not really going to hurt the performance of the bow but it'll hurt my feelings because I'm kind of perfectionist so I'm still hunting for it here I'm getting close I'm getting out of the the late wood into the uh, the early wood which is more of a sponge like material see that right there that's the spring growth in the springtime 